I'm so excited because we're gonna do hoe cakes today, we are. which I'm yeah. a huge fan of. Oh, same. I love corn so much. I love corn. So much corn. I want. I find ways to put corn in whatever I can. And so it's such an important thing. It actually is indigenous to North America, which is so great about it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Native Americans. Actually, there's a really funny story about the origin of like a Johnny cake or a hoe cake, which is what we're making. Yeah. So like. Food historians are kind of like all over the place about what exact tribe created this like thing we know as a Johnny cake, but it was probably the Shawnee Indians and the Shawnee Native Americans. And basically the English settlers came in and they are basically mispronouncing it. So it's supposed to be called a Shawnee cake, but they heard Johnny cake. So that's where that term comes from. And how did hoe cake come out of that? So a hoe cake was so enslaved folks when they were brought here 400 years ago, they only had access to cornmeal, water, salt. They didn't have heating elements. So they would actually have to make these, which is why they're the shape, on the bottom of a hoe, of a farming tool, because that's all they had access to. So they would heat their farming tools, and they would make their little hoe cakes, and that's why they're so small. Later on, in the 18th and 19th century, what we now know today is a griddle they called a hoe. So Understood now- Understood the hoe is the hoe. Literally. Aren't these origin stories amazing? That's what I love about <laughs> them. Um, okay. Let's do it. Well, I'm excited. Wet ingredients. Teach me. So just whisk those up. Yep, whisk them up. Yep, 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 yep. And, and as you whisk, I'm going to do this. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I, like Martha Stewart gave me, like, so much guff about my whisking game. So now I'm like, oh, blah, blah, blah. No. Oh, Martha, tell Martha to calm down. Martha <laughs> does love to. I love you, Martha, but... You know. Okay. I just told Martha Stewart to calm down on TV. She's gonna Go love it. No, she's not. <laughs> but that's what I love about her. She's so tough. She's so intense. I know. Like I she scares me in the I best way ever. It's I like I'm scared her. and turned on. I'm so confused. I saw her scold Christina Tosi one time. Yeah, no, she does. It was intense. I kind of weirdly keep keep sickly going. like it though. So like you what you want to do as you, you, you want to pour that in as you're whisking so you create emulsifications. So exactly, nice emulsify. So then you're gonna take that. You see how we also have this bowl with the pour. I, I love, love a spout. Don't you love it? Right into the center. See, now I'm going to whisk too. Okay, whisk. And yes, I'm gonna... keep whisking. Yes, I'm going to keep whisking and you're going to pour. Once you get this all incorporated, it's actually really good to let your batters rest for at least 30 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah, it's really good to let those glutens kind of relax. Let it rest. So then, Understood. So then also see how thick so it is? So it's 20, 30 minutes later. Yes, pretend. So we got some oil in the pan. But you see, look, what ha look how different. Yeah, it's much thicker. Right? That's good. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really hot. I'm worried. Is it too hot? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe it's not. Let's see. Maybe it's not. I don't want to turn it down too much because no, then you'll have no heat. It's good. It's good. Oh, it's that looks good. so good. Yeah, right? And so what we're going to, we have over here some butter because we're going to make a special syrup because why do a basic one and you can do a special one? You come over here and whisk this. So you whisk this. So we have honey and maple syrup because honey is more for flavor. Maple syrup is more for texture. Okay. So the more, when you mix sweeteners, you get depth, which is really, really nice because people think, oh, what's the difference? Honey, maple. They really do taste different and have completely different textures. How am I doing over here? You're doing so, but it's like perfect. <gasps> but you see how we're doing it on the stovetop? Yeah. It's so, I think, I really think heating your, whatever you're going to put on top, whether it's butter, heating it beforehand and just letting it kind of hang out there, it's almost like a glaze. You know what I'm saying? I do. So we're going to do this, but see, we're already set up over here, Drew. So like, we're already good. So like, what I'm going to do, do we have a spoon? Yeah, let's take a spoon. So like, what we can do is we can actually, like literally, we can just go like this. Stop it. That's a slotted spoon. Do you see? Like what? I was trying to get you a bigger spoon. No, I'm into the little spoon. Okay. I'm, I like a little baby spoon. Do you see me? I'm like, <laughs> I'm over here. Here, I'm gonna give this to you. Like a dog with a bone. But it's so good. I'm so, and like, do you, do you hear the crispiness? Yeah, listen. I mean, hold on. Also, like, am I one, can I be like this? Can I do Yes. This? Oh my God. And the spice, come on. Isn't this so good? Isn't this so good? The outside has this very um, so nice, like crust, almost like texture, mm -hmm. but it's not hard. Yes. It's still soft, and then the inside is really airy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Two episodes of Counter Space on the Tastemade streaming channel, and up next, um, do you want the star treatment for half the price in Los Angeles? Well, our travel guide, Vegas Starfish, is here, and I'm from LA, and I saw her suggestions, and I was like, yes, don't go anywhere.